Hi guys, Gareth here, co-founder of Blem, and this next video we're going to be talking about one of the most common objections that you're likely to face at the end of a sales meeting. Now I'm going to show you one way on how to tackle this common objection. And I've been using this for the last couple of years and I swear by it to this day because over the years I've been able to get many sales across the line by using this fantastic method. Now this common ob objection is one that you may have heard of many times. It's when somebody says to you, I need to think about it. I need time to think about what we've discussed today. And it can be really frustrating because maybe you've done a killer presentation. Maybe you thought the presentation went very well and they've come up with this objection of, I need time to think about it. Now, if you're an inexperienced salesperson, you may think that this is good news, but actually it's very bad news because the likelihood is that if you don't take action now, they probably won't end up becoming a customer. The two reasons why they've said they want to think about it is that you, even ha you either haven't convinced them of the value proposition or they're fearful for taking action for some reason and we need to get to the bottom of it. So this is how you tackle this common objection. John, no problem at all. How long do you need? Do you need a day, a couple of days, a week, a month? A week, no problem. The reality is though, John, no matter how long it takes you to think about this, you're still gonna be faced with the same three questions. Do you mind if I share them with you? Excellent. Now please answer as honest as possible. Now, firstly, can you see yourself using this product and getting results? Excellent. Secondly, can you honestly afford this product? Excellent. And thirdly, can you see yourself working with me and my fantastic team to get results? Excellent. And I don't think there's any thinking time necessary here, John. I think it's time to kick the tires, light the fires, and let's start getting results. Okay, so you don't have to sound ridiculous like me and say, kick the tires, let's light the fires. But as you can see, this is a great way to find out if there are any underlying issues from your potential customer. Those three questions are key. Think about it. If, for example, they said that they're not too sure about the, using the product to get results, then you have a product issue. So that means you have to go back over your presentation. Maybe there's something that they didn't quite understand from the presentation. Maybe they said that they can't afford it, then you've got, you have a pricing issue. So maybe this is a great way to find out whether you come work with them by putting a payment plan in place or some sort of payment option. So there's always ways to look at breaking down how you can get that sale across the line. Anyway, I hope that helps. I want you using that in your next meeting because I promise you it's a great way to tackle this very common objection. Mm -hmm.